Hey guys, Baker's Creek here. It's uh, Sunday, April 3rd, and I'm in Evansville, Indiana. I'm at a site called Angel Mounds. If you want to read that, this is in a Mississippi and Indian village. And uh, me and my family came here today to see this. We've never been here before. So I decided to take you guys along for the ride. Be back with you. Apologize for the wind. It's a real windy day today. All right, guys, I'm standing in front of the stockade wall. There's some pictures of the post, of the hose they found in the ground. And they reconstructed this palisade wall that was around this little village here. I don't know if it was adobe style like this. could have just been logs. To show this to you. Here's the village. You can see the size of these mounds. Half of that mound's gone from university excavating it. Pretty good sized village right here on the Ohio River. Alright guys, I'm over on the eastern side of the site, and this is the site where all the houses were. And they got pictures of the old archaeological digs. They've reconstructed some of these stick houses from the hose in the ground where the post used to be. Right here on a big creek that feeds the Ohio River. And this is a pretty good size neighborhood. <laughs> I would call if you see all these houses right there in that picture. All right. They have reconstructed a long canoe here of how they think the Indians would carve them out by using different tools and burning the log. Here's your recreation of it. I'm going to get that on video for you. If you notice, you'll see the mud on the side caked. That's how they control their fire when they burned it out and chisel it out the carbon. Alright guys, here is a roundhouse. Uh, there's only two of these found on this whole village. The rest of the houses were square, rectangle, kind of like a long house. But they're not sure what these were for. Maybe a sweat house or a meeting place. There was a hearth in the center. But we're pretty close to the center of the village. Back up here. Because you got one of these roundhouses right here beside this huge mound in the middle. So I'm gonna go up on a mound and get a view of you guys for you guys to show you how tall it is. Alright guys, here's the main center. And I'm scared to see how tall this thing is. I'll show you guys how tall this is. Alright guys, I'm up in a flat spot on the mound. There's the tallest peak there. It's about 50 feet off the ground. And here is the flat spot on the mound where they found housing or you know debris and wooden post in the ground so there's some kind of structures on top of this mound. Uh, the sign says this was not a burial mound here in the center so they don't know if it was for their shamans or medicine men. They don't know. There's no burials when they excavated this, so they don't know. River there. This is a pretty big village. We're right about in the center of it. Uh, I'm now in the museum part of the site here. Here's a display of everyday village life. Yeah. 
There's you some Mississippian pottery. This is real stuff. That over there, they do. Here's some of the Mississippian pottery that they have found on the site. They have put back together and put on display. There's an effigy right there. There's you and the elbow pipe. There's your small discoidal. It's one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. There's some more discoidals here. When they played their game, Chunky. Here's the Mississippian pottery. Still got the same cord wrap design of the woodland. I figured it would evolve more over the thousands of years, but still has that woodland look to it, to me, anyways. Here's a reenacted corn crib. This is how they think they stored their corn in the village. Here's some of the items they found while excavating. Just some effigies. Reed, flute. Some more Mississippian pipes there. Some of the points they found on the site here. Celts and manos and various tools. There's a drill. Some of the tools they think were used to build the mound. You see the mussel shell they used as a hoe and some digging sticks. It's a lot of dirt moved. <laughs> some more stuff that they found in the mounds. Some animal teeth that were drilled in the necklaces. Some little bitty effigies. Bone awls, bone needles. Ear pins. Ornaments. There's some shell gorgets. They were carved. Sorry, I'm in the way. Pretty cool designs on there. Man, it's a long hairpin. That's beautiful. So I'm going to show that to y'all. Some more points I found. There's a big blade. Man, that looks like an Adena blade to me. So I'm sure there's some Adena influence here across the river. Some Mississippi triangles. Some more beads here. Conch shell. Beautiful stuff. Here's some more stuff here, some more pottery and vessels. There's another human effigy. I'm gonna show it to y'all. Here's a kneeling statue that they found, they think, in a ceremonial mound. They found it facing east. And it's made out of fluoride. See the Indian chief here holding it.